Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and we thank you for tuning in to SPSN. A storied rivalry and a long-standing tradition. The rivalry between St. Paul and has a long history on both sides. And here on Blankstone, Kai Godding Halloran here with... Kai Edwards. And Kai, how do you feel about today's rivalry match? Uh, I feel pretty good. I feel it's going to be a really good game today. Uh, obviously, it's a rivalry. It has been on for years. I feel it's going to be a really good game against St. Paul and BL. Absolutely. I feel like St. Paul is going 3-0. and Leading their, uh, definitely one of the teams leading the league. No losses. Absolutely. I feel like they're going to have a great game today. This is going to be great to watch. Boys Latin, very strong school. Strong rivalry in general. The aggression between both teams. Uh, pitching today, we have uh, Luca Miller, number 10. We talked to uh, Mr. Walsh before the game, and uh, he said they um, needed to focus on strikes because in their last few games they've walked a lot of batters, and they also yeah they also needed to focus on defense. Yeah, I feel like strikes and defense will be really useful because if you don't have defense, as the saying it is, defense wins games. So yeah. if you play good defense, you also play good offense. Yeah, especially against a um, really strong team, BL looking really strong in warm ups. Uh, on very hard, keeping that aggression. St. Paul is playing a great passing game. <laughs> All right. Uh, St. Paul is currently on the field. Uh, I don't believe there are um any. Still waiting for um um the umpire to get seated up and get on the field. Some slow warm ups. Kai, anything else you have to say about today's match? Uh, nothing. I just think it's gonna be a really good. Interesting game. Uh, just stay tuned to watch. See what happens. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh, uh, coach, Coach Walsh talked about um, two of their uh, two. All right. Uh, so, 69 degrees here, and uh, on this nice cloudy day. Uh, good for baseball. Um, uh, one thing Coach Walsh said. Um. Was that two very strong uh, hitters are um, Luca Miller, who will be pitching today, and uh, Enzo De Felice, who's another pitcher. Uh, all right, the lineup. Uh, today's lineup is uh, batting first is Matt Wolper, then followed by Chase Freis Freisick, Luca Miller going third, Enzo De Felice going fourth. Miles Pratt, 5th, AJ Pass, 6th, Chase Goffstein, 7th, uh, Bryce Bolt Bolton, 8th, and Nick Stein, Nick Steinmeier, 9th. Uh, and then, uh, then the right. BL lineup is Cole Music, London Hill, Ashton, Ashton Greenberg, Kyler Campbell, Colin... Videl Wrights, Jesse Ritter, Mason Eggert, Wells London, Mason Steller, and Justin Frauncho. Yep. Their starting pitcher is Ashton Greenberg. All right. Yeah, um, both lineups looking great. Uh, they, um, St. Paul is putting their, uh, two of their best batters Two of their best batters fourth, so if they get people on base, they just get a nice, good hit and um, send them home to score some easy points. So, uh, boys Latin batting first since they're, they're, they're the away team. Boys, uh, St. Paul is still in the field warming up. Luca Miller looks like about to pitch a great game today. Outfield training. Uh, currently, the officials are using the restroom, so they will be here soon, so the game will soon be underway here on SPSN. Just analyzing warm ups in general. Luca Miller pitching very well. Uh. uh Catcher is um Nick Steinmeier. He's a um he's doing very well catching. Uh 
doing a great job catching those pitches. And I feel like uh, Pat Wal- uh, Mr. Coach Walsh-, Walsh said one thing they needed to focus on was definitely their um their catching because uh, they've been lacking with that in the last few games. So if they can get that up, they'll play a great game against BL today. BL also looking very strong in warm-ups. Yep, I think St. Paul has a really good chance of winning this. Now, obviously, I'm champion for St. Paul. But I don't like BL at all. But I was going to say that St. Paul is also 3-0. and That's a pretty good record. So I, ha- I hope, hopefully we can bring this into the bag. Yeah, I have high hopes for St. Paul's here. But y'all are also looking very strong today, so it's going to be a great game. It's going to be very close, it seems. And, uh, what? All right, the officials are, uh, the official is officially here. Oh. Uh, Currently coming onto the field, so they're getting um. St. Paul is getting ready to start the game. First up for a uh, BL is Cole Music, who is a shortstop. Boys <laughs> Latin still doing batting training. St. Paul's uh batting. St. Paul's batters working hard in the new batting cages that were just installed. They were just installed recently, uh, or the dugout, that, the uh, ball pen that was just installed recently. The uh, great thing for practice, especially for the great thing for practice for all boys Latin practicing on the sideline. Everybody. Um <laughs> no. Okay. Alright, so <laughs> saying that. Anyway, uh game should be underway soon. Luca Luca Miller, starting pitcher. Alright, so Soon enough, St. Paul's will go balls in for the um, balls in after practice, and then uh, they're all boys. Latin will send out Cole Musek to take up first batter spot, and St. Paul's will start the game. And again, Luca is pitching and throwing the ball very well, so I think we have a really good chance. And Enzo can hit the ball so far. I think we can get a lot of home runs and a lot of runs for doubles, singles, even triples. Even for a home-based circle. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Luca Miller doing a great job pitching. All right. Uh, yeah, number one, Cole Musek. Uh, he's in the box now. Getting ready to pitch. Getting ready to start the game. Practice balls are in. Luca Miller preparing. All right. Um. Cole Musek lining up. Camilla going for the pitch. And the pitch. And that's a strike. Strike one for St. Paul's. Already off to a great start. Yep. Pitching a nice strike here. Cole Musek seems to be a little small in stature, but that doesn't mean... All right, uh, fouls that off. Fouls that off to the... um. Fouls that off behind him for a first foul. All right, so Kurt counts 0 and 2. Cool. One more strike and he's out. All right, yeah. That's a strike. That's a strike. And that is the first strike. That's not the first. That's um. All right, so that's a strike two for um St. Paul. Oh, he hits that out. It's ground ball. Tries to get that over, and he does. He is out. First out for St. Paul's. Right. St. Paul's with the first out. Next up is London Hill. All right. Um. That's a pitch 
And that's a little low. That's a ball. It's ball one. Ball one for number 10. Uh, Landon Hill. Ooh, he hits that. Sends that flying. Number five for number five for St. Paul's. Matt Wolper running, trying to get it through. He's going. That's an in the park. Yeah, that's an inside. He gets a home. Run. That is a home run for BL. That is um. So that means BL up one zero. That was a great hit from um, Landon Hill. Great way to um get a nice start for the game. So it's a. Uh, uh, BL currently up one to zero, and there is one out on the top of the first. Camilla lining up for the pitch. That's a strike. Strike. It's a strike. That's a um first strike for a uh, St. Paul's up against uh Kyler Campbell. Oh, uh, Kyler fouls it off behind him for um ball one. Oh yeah, Aston, Aston Greenberg. Fouls that off far behind him for a ball two. Foul. Oh yeah, foul. Right, my bad. Oh yeah, foul though, my bad. Ooh, hits that, that's a ground ball. Oh, it goes that. He's, he's out. So that is um out two. That's a ground out right there. That's a ground out by there, right? Ground out by a ground out there sends it to um sends it to left field, but a uh, gets stopped. What a throw by Chase Frysek. Absolutely. It's a great throw. Nice All right, number forty-four now. This is Colin. Colin. Oh no, it's Kyler Campbell. It's Kyler Campbell. Uh, strike, uh, that was a ball, I believe. Alright, so that's, uh, ball one. Hits it, fouls that off behind him. Alright, uh, Luca Miller lining up for the pitch. Colin Campbell. Uh, that's outside for a ball two. So it's count is currently a uh oh in one with two balls. And that's a third ball. Alright, uh third ball now. St. Paul's might walk him. St. Paul's need to throw a good strike. I know Luca Miller can throw a fast pitch like this, he just needs to show it. Oh, that's a little low. That's a ball. Uh, he's he's walking. He's that's walking to first base. Walked. Uh, Kyler Campbell walked to um first base. This is what Mr. Walsh was. This is what Coach Walsh was talking about. Uh, they need to stop with the um walk. They they can't keep walking the batters. Now we have a um left-handed batter up, and uh, that's Colin Vidal Sites. All right, strike. Strike number one. Strike one, straight down the middle. Kyler just didn't, uh, Colin just didn't swing at it. Oh, uh, ball. Oh, he tries to steal and he's successful. Uh, Kyler, Kyler Campbell safe at second with a stolen base. Uh, goes for the hit. All right, that ball landed behind us for him. Foul. I thought it was going to hit the tent. I was very scared. But like I said, Luca Miller got a really good warm up. So I have a feeling right now he's not really he's not really good to a start. He's not really good to a start. 
But later on in the game, he's going to start warming up. He's going to be hot. Absolutely. With Luca Miller on the pitcher's mound, he definitely needs some time to warm up. But And that's a ball. Ball bounces off the ground. Uh. Uh, all right, so that's a ball. Bounces off the ground. Miller lining up for the next pitch. All right, two balls, two strikes, two outs. Full count. Full count. Yep. All right, pitches. Pitches low. That's a ball. That's Walks a ball. him. Walks another batter. Walks the first base. Luca Miller. Really needs to step up his game. Can't be um. Miller can't um. Can't be letting this. He can't walk every single batter. At bat we have Jesse Ritter. Ball, bit high. So that was a um, ball. Bit high over the batter's box. Number nine. Number nine. Let's see. Ritter. Strike. Uh, that's a strike. Uh, so strike one. Count. Uh, one one. One ball, one strike. Two outs for St. Paul's. Two balls, one strike. Luca Miller can't walk a third batter because if somebody like um, if somebody like Landon Hill steps up and hits a home run, that's gonna be that. That's gonna be a. That's gonna be about it for the game. That would um be detrimental. So he needs to focus here. He needs to lock in. I think Saint Paul needs well, to also I pay attention to like the walks when the guy tries to steal on first or second base, because that could easily lead to points then, and we don't mm -hmm. want points. We want defense to Ball stop is currently a three. Count is currently a three to one. Three to one, three balls, one strike. Oh, Luca Miller walks him. Number nine goes to first base, base is loaded. Bases loaded, so one hit could lead one to a point. One home, absolutely one good hit, like somebody from Landon, like somebody like Landon Hill. Coach Walsh walking out on the field now, telling him what he told us. Need to focus. Need to lock in. Make sure you're visualizing the batter, visualizing the box in your mind, and seeing where you need to throw those pitches. Seeing like which pitches would be the best in the moment. Next up at bat is uh, Mason Eager. Mason Eager, yep. For a. Uh, St. Paul's might almost go through him. Um, Boys Lab might go through a full count this time. Full uh, lineup. Oh, hits it. It's a That's ground a ball. Drive and he is out for a third out. Out. And now, St. Paul's is up to hit. First up at hit, we have Matt Wolper. So, um, yeah, Matt Wolper for St. Paul's plays center fielder. Uh, I believe, boys, did boys Latin score on that one? All right. Boys Latin, run did not count. Player got out. So, now St. Paul's turn. Hopefully their batters can show up and at least tie the game against BL. Boys Latin getting some quick uh, field warm ups. All right, uh, St. Paul's getting some field warm ups. So uh, Kai, anything you have to say about that? Um, the top of the first? Uh, that was pretty good first inning. Um, top of the first inning. That was a really good first inning. Definitely a little challenging for Luca Miller. But like I said earlier, in the earlier, like right, right now, his game wasn't the greatest. But later on in the game, he's definitely going to step up and throw a lot of strikes that we're going to need later on. Absolutely. Yeah, he definitely needs to um, step his game up, work on that, trying to maybe get the rest during this time, getting getting his arm to rest, trying to 
look through his pitches, try to see what he, um, trying to see what uh, he has to offer. We have Matt Wolper up next to bat for St. Paul's. Number five, Matt Wolper. Got some powerful swings there. See if he can um show that those swings will not go to waste and he will hit something with them. Because it seems Landon Hill, was it was very easy for Landon Hill to get a home run. So let's see if St. Paul's with the, the powerful batters that they have can get maybe Molter. Multiple. All right, uh, Matt Wolper lining up. He's a uh, batting lefty today. BL is getting in a little bit, a couple warm ups just to make sure they're yep. all good. Getting in some warm ups. I have a feeling Matt is gonna is gonna get a really good hit. I can get him the first at least and then lead the other players that are going to bat up next to at least third. We have full base counted and then we can go score. Absolutely. Um, both uh, Coach Walt, Walsh and the MBL coach both talking it out, showing that even though there is a rivalry, that doesn't mean that, we are, that these schools are enemies. That doesn't mean that we can't be friends with somebody from BL. And that's just a friendly rivalry. At St. Paul's, we're all respectful to our enemies in any sport, really. We're all respectful. Yep, absolutely. Kai, I know I know you know about that from being on the basketball team this winter. Yep, paid, I played BL, man. Um, it was challenging, but we did it. They're a really good team. Uh, they were like a really good team to play against. So, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right, uh, Matt Wolper getting ready for the um, first pitch to be thrown for the um, for the bottom of the first. Be Boys Latin currently up one to zero. Bo bottom of the first, and uh, let's see if St. Paul's can show up. Matt Wolper lining up, hitting lefty. Pitch. So is that a strike? I believe. All right. Uh, that's, that's a strike. 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 Strike one. I think that's strike one. Yes, one one. Count as one one. Oh, that's another ball. Ball straight to the dirt, so that's a uh, counts currently two one. And the pitch. And oh, Matt hits a ball. good ball. Matt's got to get that speed. Ooh, oh. he just can't make it. One out. That's the first out for St. Paul's in the top of first. First out for St. Paul's, but that doesn't mean it's over because BL got their got first batter got a first out. Seems to be a ground out to second. Next up, we have Chase Frysick. Chase, Chase Frysick, he's a um, great. He definitely shows some power batting righty. One of the bigger players. Let's see if he can use that power and just get a nice swing, send it out so he can make it to first base. Who goes swings? That's a strike. So it's a, a strike one. That swinging technique is beautiful, by the way. Like, like yeah. if he gets a really good elevation on the ball with all that power going towards it, that's a really good hit. That's going to be a good hit, absolutely. Great footwork, too. Nice power stance. Ooh. Oh, that's a hit. That's a hit. That's a ball. That's a hit. Route. And that is a home run. Chase Fryzek might not. Oh, no, he stops oh. at second. Oh, he stops at second. I thought it was going to be a home run. That was a Yeah, that was a great hit. Wait. Uh, that was a that was a great hit. Good way to um. Great start of a game for Chase. All right, uh, number ten now. Luca Miller. 
Go, 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 go. He and steals. He got it. He steals, steals third, third base. Stolen base for third. Easy since that ball just missed. He was just able to trot straight over. He's preparing, taking the lead. Chase Fizek ready ball to ball two. Chase Fizek ready to run. Counts currently two and zero. Oh, two balls, zero strikes here against Luca Miller. All right, that's one strike. So it's uh, counts currently two one. Two balls, one strike. To get another ball like they did first, uh, Prysek might be able to steal home. Although that is very unlikely. All right, uh, Coach Walsh telling him not to steal. Smart choice. Uh, counts currently 3-1. One. one more ball, and they walk him. Ball four. And they he's walk. walking. Luca Miller gets walked. He's walking to first. Let's see. Let's see if they might that might have been a um that might have been a power move to stop him from getting um uh to stop him from hitting dingers. Alright, next, next up, up is Enzo Deepa Valise. And he is a hitter. When I say he is a hitter, he can hit that ball like he means it. And when he puts power in, into that ball, that ball is bet All right. to go for. I think it's a uh, counts currently 1-0 with a ball. 1-0. Oh. All right. You know, lining up for the pitch. The steals. All right. Luca Miller steals Luca to second Miller, base. Luca Miller steals second. All right. Uh, Enzo Di Felice lining up. For his next hit, I think the count's currently 2-0. Two, 2-0, two oh. Two oh, yep. That's another ball. That's a ball. Ball three. Seems like they're intentionally walking. The old ball is all in. They might be, they might be intentionally walking him. Oh, steals, steals home. home. And we get our first point for St. Paul. Chase Fryzak steals home after a ball goes wide. To get our first point of the starting. First point of the bottom of the first. Game currently tied 1-1. One, one. All right, uh. Ooh. And Enzo, Enzo hits Defelice a good hits ball. That up. He goes to first. He goes home. That's two. Oh. That All right. Two he sends Luca Miller home. Two L. St. Paul's. Two one. Oh, no score. You and I never scored. Yes, we did. We it's scored? a two one. Yeah. St. Paul's up two to one. After uh. After Enzo Di Felice gets a nice. Bounce hit so that um, first point came from uh, Chase Frysek stealing home after a far ball, and then second point came from um, uh, Luca Miller after uh, Enzo Di Felice hit a good hit um, after he stole second. Ooh, that's, that's a nice good hit, hit by Miles Pratt. And he catches and that's the third out. He, he catches it and that's the third out, but that was a great. Start for St. Paul's. All right, well, thank you for joining us here for the first inning. I'm Kai Gotting Haller, and here with Kai Edwards, and we will see you in the next inning.
And we are back with the SPSN broadcast. I'm Oliver Chikalis here with Kai Edwards. And we just saw a 6-3 um, line out to first. Now we have Luca Miller up again pitching. Like I said, first inning wasn't the greatest, but his game is going to step up a lot in this inning and the next. And to see it, a brand new, brand new batter up to bat right here, the pitch. Outside for ball one. We have Mason Steller batting for BL. That's ball one. Here's the pitch. Inside for strike one. That's strike number one. One one count. The pitch. A little dribbler. That is foul. That is Second. None out, one two count. Strike three, that's the first out for the second inning. Next up we have just we have Justin Francho. Here's the pitch, strike one. Strike number one, and as and now as we can see in the first inning. Pitch down below for ball one. Runner on second, as I've said. Pitch, swing and a miss for strike two. Strike two, one more strike and he's out. That'll be our second out. Upstairs for ball two, two two count. Strike three. Out. Uh, second out. I think we can all say that Chase Frizick still thinks he's Ellie De La Cruz after that double in the first inning. One out runner on second. Here's the pitch. Down below for strike one. Right now, I bet we have core music. And a big, a, big swing. That's, a, that's bad. That's a good hit. And, and that it's going to be caught. caught. That is caught. It's to run by, by and Chase be out number three. What a great catch by Chase Frizick. And now St. Paul's is up the bat. Quick, a quick top of the second. Up to bat next is AJ Pass. AJ Pass, the righty batter, has been big power at the plate for the St. Paul's first three games. Swing right here. Here's the pitch. Outside, ball one. It's the pitch outside of ball two. Hit. 
hit him. He got hit, and now AJ is walking the first base. AJ got hit in the left thigh. Throws on first. That got to hurt right there. The pitch. It's a big swing. That's a Deep good to right hit. center. It's back. It's a good and hit by Chase Goldstein, but it is caught for the. First out, St. Paul's. Here's the pitch. AJ steals second. Bryce Bulletin is hitting. That is a ball. Ball two. Here's the pitch, trying to pick him off. Outside, running the third is pass. AJ goes and he steals third. He is safe. AJ goes and he, no. AJ goals. A couple of errors for boys Latin so far. AJ definitely a fast runner. His main sport is baseball, so he's used to this kind of pressure. Not pressure, but stuff like this. This type of, um. Setting. Two one count, with one out. Pitch outside, behind the catcher for ball three, a three one count, one out. Mitchell Walsh, third base coach, coaching out AJ, whether the steal home or just stay there. Here's the pitch. Down below for ball four. And Bryce Bolton walks. Still one out in the second inning. Next up we have Nick Steinmeier. Who was also our catcher? The pitch. Strike one. Strike one. Coach Walsh is telling Dalen to get helmet ready. Pitch. Got some contact. That'll be. That is strike two strikes. Two. Zero balls and two strikes. It's the pitch. What a hit! What a hit! Oh, and he goes. And AJ. Out. And they're saying AJ is out. That is out the it. second out of the second inning. Out, out at home. A big time play. Good hit by Nick Steinmeier, but wasn't AJ wasn't fast enough to get to home to get our second point. All right. Next up we have Holden Bradford.
and Dalen Jackson will uh, pinch hit in the second inning. Holden Bradford batting now. Dalen Jackson will now play catcher for the duration of the game. The pinch hits. That is two balls. Nick Steinmeier. Strike. A 2 0 count in the bottom of the second with two outs. Holden Bradford up to bat. Strike That's one. Strike number one. Two, one, two balls, one strike. Coach Walsh again is to leave so they don't get caught off guard. Dalen nice runs. Dalen. Oh, uh, it was a foul ball, so they have to go back to their regular foul. base before they stole. Here's the pitch. Strike three. Got him out looking. That's strike number three. Wait, hold up. Should I go off? Just say something. All right. And we are going to sign off. I'm Oliver Chikals. And I'm Kai Edwards. And this was our second inning. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are back for the second inning. I'm Kai Gotting Haller and here with Kai Edwards. <laughs> and all right, so uh, boys Latin up. Is that a um ball batting right now for um BL is London Hill. London Hill. Yep. Yeah. All right. So in his um in his first at bat, he uh, got an in. Um, in the park, home run. All right, count is currently uh, 0 and 2. 2 0, 2 0. Uh, two balls, 3 0, 3 0. They're apparently um, going to walk Landon Hill, prevent him from hitting another in the park home run. Walk him. Yep, they walk him, which is pretty smart. So they he doesn't tie them. All right, St. Paul's still currently up, two to one. But Luca Miller all still to a great start. Um, in the first and second inning, and BL steals oh. base. Yep, BL steals. 
Oh, and Hill be. still second. Um, so runners on second. Currently one runner on second. St. Paul's played a um great for uh Landon. St. Paul's played a great top of the um top of the second. They um they had um Im they had some impeccable pitching. They um easily got BL out and they played a great game up. And they played a great game on the offensive side. Hitting right now for BL is Aston Greenberg. Aston Greenberg, he um he uh he got a ground out in his first time at bat. All right, counts currently 3-0. I feel like this might not be as intentional as Landon Hill. Let's really hope. Uh, strike. Three balls, one, one strike. strike. Who hits it? Oh no! They missed. They missed the um pickup. They let it roll. He goes and he's going. That's another point for BL. Oh no! He's at third. He's he at, third, at third, but he stops at third. <sighs> That's another point for BL. That but London Hill. London Hill scoring the um, scoring his second point. He's the only person who's been scoring for BL so far. Definitely one of the players St. Paul's needs to be on the lookout for. Now we have um. Uh, Kyler, Ca we have Kyler Campbell up at bat, at, and we have one runner on third. One, one small hit could seal this. Strike. Uh. uh. All right. Uh, well, St. Paul sent the pop fly up. Oh, they drop it. Oh, they Saint drop Paul's the drops ball. it. Drops it in the outfield. Goes for a pass. And Ashton Greenberg goes home for another point, point for, for BL. BL. For another another run, run for BL. St. Paul's three to two here in the top of the second. Top, uh, top of the third, top of the third. Uh, with uh, Boys Latin with one runner on base. On and uh, all right. And the pitch, it's a ball. Steals third. Number forty-four, Kyler Campbell steals third, setting him up in another position, just as the one before. They can't drop these pop flies. They can't. They can't miss these ground balls. They need to lock up here. One Next point up, hitting right now. Right. Hitting right now, I believe, is Justin Frauncha. Number 21. Jesse Ritter. Uh, no, uh. Colin. Counts currently 2 1. Two balls, one strike. That is a hit, and he is safe. St. Paul's. This is what. This is what. Runner at first and runner on third. This is what Coach Walsh was saying. They need to step up their game. MVP. Runners at the corners now. Jesse. Uh, up. He made, he got a single in his first um. In his first at bat, and and Collins steals base. Collins steals. Ah, oh, counts currently one zero, oh, one ball. Three strikes. One, one ball, one strike. St. Paul's really needs to lock in defensively. Another point, another run for BL. There's a runner at third now. Colin, uh. So, St. Paul. BL now c leads St. Paul's by two points, four to two. BL playing a great game on top of this third inning with um three runs. And 
zero out. Right now we have Jesse Ritter Absolutely batting. Absolutely needs to step up their game. Oh, ground ball, and that's another run for B. He is out. L. First out for St. Paul's, but BL leads them five to two. They can't allow these stolen bases. They need to work on their catch. Their catcher needs to work on this catching so they can't be stealing bases. Players are stealing up to third and there's no one there. And then they get one hit and that's easy. That's up, that's up. That is another hit by BL. That's another hit another by run. number 12, Mason Eager. Takes it, takes it up to him. Takes him, to, takes it up, him up to first. Uh, Luca Miller's got to be really careful now. They can't allow for any more stolen bases. That's how they've been getting. Nobody's hit a triple. They've only hit, they've only hit singles, doubles, or up inside the park home run. Tries to get him. He's going. Oh my God! Misses the catch. Going up to second. He even he might go to third. He's going to third. Oh no! He stays at second. St. Paul's, really? That was a bad move. We can't be letting, we can't be letting BL take these bases. Oh, that was an error. BL can't be taking these bases. All right. Uh. Anyway. Bat now. Number thirteen. And the pitch. Strike. Count currently one one. One ball, one strike, and one out. St. Paul's really. And that's another ball. Two to one. St. Paul's. Luca Miller needs to lock in. He needs to focus. He can't be giving out. Batting right strike now. Two. Batting right now is Wells Lousy. All right, strike three. That's a strike out for Luca Miller. Definitely trying to turn it around this top of the third. Great pitch. I can definitely tell Luca Miller is very angry and frustrated, but he's putting all that on the field to get better. Not to get better, but to improve the energy on the field. Yeah, putting in that effort. Hey, um. And strike one for um, BL. Uh, two outs. Uh, uh, so it's a uh, count. Zero oh and one for a. Uh, oh and two. That's strike two. Might like get a I clean said, strikeout to lead him into the bottom of the third. Like I said, Luca's putting all that anger and frustration onto the field to get the team energized. Foul. That's the foul ball. Now, if you didn't know, foul balls are actually strikes in baseball. Well, but when you have two strikes and then you add another foul, that doesn't count as out. Yeah. And they go. And he, ooh, pitches the ball. Pitches the ball. Uh, ba sto base three stolen now. Luca Miller really needs to lock in to prevent a hit to stop BL from scoring. Needs to get this just one strike. One strike to send him in to the bottom of the third. Ground. Oh, no. Picks it up. Number th uh, Another point for BL. Run. Another run for BL. BL leads St. Paul 6-2. to two. There's a um, runner on... Runner on first, number 31. And the pitch, and he, that's a bit low, that's a ball. Batting right now is Mason Seller. BL might make it through a full rotation on this inning. St. Paul really needs to step up their game. I know they have it in them. They just need to find that little piece hidden inside their soul that just allows them to wake up. Strike 
Strike one. Count tur currently yes. two to one. One strike for St. Paul's. Count currently two to one with two out. Two outs. And the pitch. And one strike, one strike could oh, lead to three. so many possibilities. And that also is ball number three. Strike one, uh, two outs. Strike Zane one, Paul's. two outs. He needs to pitch good. Oh, and he pitches it low to walk. Number 22. And he's walked. He's the step there. All right. Final batter on BL's lineup here. In the top of the third. Luca Miller needs a strikeout. Coach Walsh coming out now. Talk giving him Luka. a little bit of a pep talk. Telling him what he needs to hear. He, need, he needs. He can take his time. He doesn't need. All right. Uh. All right. Uh. Mount visit. Coach Walsh taking the mount visit. Trying to um, just give that pep talk to Luca Miller, hyping him up, making sure he knows that he can, he can do well. He absolutely has it in him. He has done well. He is a great pitcher. He's really good. He's just struggling a little bit on where to aim at and how much power to put on it and not throwing it low. Absolutely. High. He he's pitching some very he's pitching very powerful pitches. They're just not in the box. They're just not in the spot where he wants it to be. They're just not where they need to be. All right, uh Mount That's a hit. Oh, and he catches it. He third catches out. the ball. Heading That's into the, the bottom third of out. the third. St. Paul's needing four points to tie and five points to take the lead. They they need to lock in. They need to get these points. They've gotten two before. Let's just see if they can double that now. Um, St. Paul's, like, they can definitely, when I say definitely, they can definitely catch up. But like Coach Walsh said, in order to win games, or not win games, but you have to play defense. And defense is really what's killing them right now because off their scores, they mostly got defense off of, like, ground balls that go too fast. They weren't ready or prepared or for anything, really. So, um, yeah, so defense will really help them out right here. Absolutely. Yeah, they need to step up on the defense. Their, their defense has the potential. They're just missing those... They're just missing those essential ground balls, uh, missing those pop flies that are up in the air. Just the, the stress of playing one of their school's biggest rivals is getting to them. They just need to take their mind out of the game. They just need to take their mind out of thinking about the pressure. They just need to focus on the game. Focus on like it's any other team. Batting right now is for St. Paul's is... Number it's four. Chase Frysick. Chase Frysick. Chase Frysick has been having a great game today. He stole, um, he, I believe he stole home in the first inning to, um, get, uh, St. Paul's first point on the board. And then Enzo Di Felice sent Luca Miller home to get the second, and that is where they stood. And that is where they currently stand. Alright, Chase Frysick up. Ball one. It's ball number one. The BL batters might have just noticed that Chase Chase Frysick is is a powerful player, and that's ball two. Sends it to the dirt. They might be intentionally walking Chase Frysick because they know he can be powerful. Yes, he's his hit is very good. He has really good technique. Absolutely. Like his good technique, like if he wants to play a baseball for the rest of his life, for the rest of his life, his technique will improve over the years, and he'll have a really good swing and a really good hit. Absolutely, it seems like he's been focusing focusing on baseball for many years. And the pitch, foul, count three one, three balls, one strike, Five. zero outs. Chase Frysek at the foul to get the first strike. And the pitch. 
straight down. Outside, they um walk, chase Frysec. Chase Frysec now on third. See, the problem, the thing is, Chase Frysec scored. Want to know how he scored? By stealing bases. Getting him on base is still a problem. They need to. That's a ball. One to um, Luca Miller, the pitcher. Showed a great game as um, a batter in the first inning. Luca Miller is batting up. He gets back uh, with uh, plenty of time left. Chase Frysek makes it back as, as he attempts to steal second. Aston Greenberg tries to get Chase Frysek out, but he can't. Frysek taking a small lead. That's a, that's a foul ball. That's a foul ball. Coach Walsh tries to pick it up. That was a really good ground ball. Even though even though it was a foul, if that wasn't a foul, that would have been a, like, Great a really good ground ball. Would have rolled got home. straight past third. It was a pretty fast. Ooh, and that's up. That's up. He hits that. And it is caught for their first out. Uh, first out of the game. For, I mean, not first out of the game. First out of the inning for bo boys Latin. So same. Uh, that was um. Luca Miller hit a pop fly up to the um, up to uh, center field, and it is caught. Chase Frysick stays on base. Now lining up for Enzo D. Felice, a powerhouse in batting. Yes, he is. Pitches it low. They might be intentionally walking him. I mean, they I believe they tried that last time, and that didn't work. He got a nice hit. And Chase Freshick walks. Not walks. He steals a base to second. He steals second. Yeah, Chase Freshick steals second. All right, uh, Enzo D. Felice. Up at bat right now. Is Enzo, Enzo sends a foul behind him. Foul behind them. Count currently one one. Can they still hit the ball? Well, the balls are behind me. I know there's a lot. Oh, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Getting a little uh, cloudy and windy out. That might affect some of the pitching and the hitting. That can lead to some unexpected pitches. With a. Uh, with a uh, some great pitches being blown off course. Yes. To be called us. Uh, and Enzo hits a dinger. Enzo. Enzo hits a dinger. Out. And that is a home. He home. goes to second. He's going. He's going. He runs. He runs. He's making Enzo it. Enzo goes. Home. Enzo's running. Oh, he doesn't oh, make it home. He, he stays, stays third. Third. He but gets the triple. Sends a runner home with a great hit out to center field. Nobody was there. Wow. That was amazing. That was a great hit. Since one runner home, now BL only leads by three, which is in St. Paul's wheelhouse. They can do this. Since Chase Frysick home. All right, number two now. Uh, Miles Pratt. That is a ball. That is a ball. If, um, if, uh, BL pitches a really bad ball. They could send Endo Defelice. Enzo goes, goes home. And he goes. And he's safe. safe. And he is safe. Safe, that safe. Miles safe. Pratt is safe on first as he sends Enzo Defelice home from and third. Now, only a t uh, BL only with a two point lead now. Closing in. Oh, yeah. One run. Two run lead. Next up are. Batting right now is AJ Pesh. AJ Pass. Sends it foul behind him. Like we said earlier in our previous innings, Enzo can hit that ball. And when he hit that ball, he meant it. He meant to go to third. And he meant to lead the other runners in to the base. That was that was a great hit by Enzo. AJ Pass, another great hitter. And a strike for AJ Pass. Strike number two. Uh, count is currently 0 and 2 with one out. So getting 
AJ Pass out here wouldn't be the worst thing. It's not going to be detrimental to St. Paul's game. BL still currently up two runs, six to four. And that's a ball. Oh, no, that's a sh Yeah, yep, that's ball one. Count currently one to two. AJ Pass trying locking in here. Looking to either get walked or to hit. A nice clean hit. And the pitch. That's low. Bit low. And Miles steals. Ball. Miles steals second base. Miles steals second base. He got a great lead there. And then as the ball hit low, he just kept running. Great way to just um hit that forward movement. That's also how we get easy runs. If we keep stealing bases, we can get easy runs and we can get runs scored. Bit high, so counts currently three to two with one out, one runner on second. So one thing I've seen a lot from is stealing bases, stealing up to third, and then waiting for a nice hit to go home. That's something that um, both teams have been utilizing, and it's been working. It right helps now, them score a lot of easy runs. Right now, it's full count. That's a foul ball. Tells that up, but doesn't affect him. Right now, it's full count, three balls, two strikes. One ball or one strike. Change the tie of the game. One out for St. Paul's. And lining up for the pitch. Here's the pitch. And that's low. They walk AJ and Pass. Walks. And oh, Miles. Miles Pratt steals up to second. That's a big piece. Oh, he vances up to second. Oh my gosh. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Alright. Next up for the lineup, we have number 21, Chase Gobstein. He's a um, goalie in hockey, but was out for most of the season with an injury. Oh, AJ steals. That's a hit low. AJ steals up to second. Runners on second and third. One strike for Chase Govstein. Counts currently 0 and 1 with one out. Runners on second and third. This could be good for St. Paul's. And like I said, if we keep stealing bases, we can get so much runs done. And when we get those runs, we can tie up the game. Absolutely. St. Paul's with them. Um, St. Paul's with some great, speedy people. Some speedy people. Oh, two strikes, one ball, one out for St. Paul's still. And now it wouldn't hurt them detrimentally. Absolutely. And that's a ball. Oh, Miles running home. And Miles home. steals home. Miles steals home. And, and that's AJ another run. And AJ Pass advances to third. So now, Boys Latin only leads by one point. We're only down by one run. And, one run. and if Bryce Bolton can get a good hit here, AJ can t take it home for a good run. Absolutely. Ooh. And AJ can he go. And, AJ and goes. he goes home. And Bryce, just as you were saying, Kai, a great hit leads it in. So now, Tied, 6-6. Six, six. Bryce Bolton makes it home. I mean, not makes it, doesn't make it home. He makes it to first. Now, there's a runner on first. St. Paul's with only one out. They have two outs left. They can absolutely play a good game. That's a lot of opportunity to score runs, and we can get those runs to absolutely. get our lead up. I think I can see like the future or something because I just called what happened and it happened exactly what I said. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, I mean, you might. <laughs> you might be able to. All right. House currently 2 and 0. Oh. St. Paul's with only one out. Game is currently tied. Run 6 to 6. <laughs> That's a bit low. Oh no, that's a strike. That is a strike. Next, right now is Bryce Bolton. Oh, from earlier, I did not mean to say Bryce Bolton. I meant to say Chase Goffstein was still hitting. So right now, right now is Bryce Bolton hitting. 
Chase Goffstein, uh, currently three balls, one strike. Oh, Chase Goffstein stole up to second. Oh, Chase Goffstein stole to second. Completely missed that. That is our bad. Um, he is now. There's currently a runner on second. If Bryce hits this ball, that could be Chase can bring this home. And that's a strike. Strike two. Takes it straight down the middle. Bryce Bolton lining up. Full count. With one out. Good hit here. Nice hit here. Go! He hit it! And he's out at first, but Chase Goffstein advances up to second. That's only that's only their second out. Oh, third, yeah. Chase Goffstein advances up to third. That's only their second out. St. Paul still has a shot at taking the lead here. A one-point lead will not be the best, but it'll still be a lead. I think Bryce got a little confused there because he thought since it was the inside, he thought it was going to be a foul. But things happen like that. But you have to watch out for that. And that's a bit low against... Uh, Nick Steinmeier. Chase Goldstein trying to steal base. He's not trying to steal. He's just taking the taking a short lead. All right. Uh, count currently one and zero oh with two outs, and that's I believe. All right. Count currently one one. That was a strike. That was a good pitch from both. Feeling a little drizzle on us now. Feeling a little drizzle on us now. Only. In the third. That's a foul. That's a strike two for St. Paul's. St. Paul's, they need to get a good hit here or something. Or Boys Latin needs to throw a really bad pitch as a ball. So, Chase, Bobstein, that's ball two. That was close, though. Extremely close. That was an extreme. That was an extremely close pitch. All right, now the pitch. <laughs> All right, that's ball three. They could walk him here. Full count again. Boys, Latin is leaving batters with a full count. And Nick is still hitting. That is. Oh, that's a strike. That's a strike. All right. Game currently tied 6-6 six, six, here at the bottom of the third, at the end of the third inning. I'm Kai Godding Halloran here with Kai Edwards. And we thank you for j joining us for the third inning of St. Paul's Blue Baseball versus Boys Latin.
Hello, and we are back. I'm Oliver Chikalis, and we have this exciting top of the fourth inning awaiting us. I'm here with Andrew Galetti. And Andrew, what do you have after these first three innings of play? Honestly, we're really thinking that St. Paul's is going fast, but um, we're not doing great with our pitching. Also, as you see, Luca Miller is getting uh, balls, but let's hope um, you know we can bring this up. We have to, you know, we can have to get through this. And Ike. Ike. And Sinos is our pitcher as he pitches for ball one. Great on the uh, great on baseball last year. Let's, uh, we'll see if he can really bring it in this year. Landon Hill up to bat with a home run in the first inning. Let's see what he can do in his fourth inning AB. A line drive, go right to the third baseman, Fire from over the head. Oh, and that's a double. That's an out of play double right there. In play single for Landon Hill. Wow. You, you never see that much with these, you know, blue and, you know, blue and A team guys, honestly. Yeah, you don't see errors as much, but there's been a couple this game. Aston Greenberg up to bat. Landon Hill steals second. You can definitely see that uh, Carson, that uh, you know he can. You can really see that he's throwing uh, more higher than your average pitcher, but he's getting the job done. Right in the liner, the single for Ashton Greenberg, the pitcher. The boys, Ladin, Landon Hill advances to third. Carson, 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 Hello. Coming home is Carson, Hill, and that he'll get home. Runner advancing to third, he slides in. Uh, that honest, that's not great for St. Paul's right now because we don't have many much innings left, but these innings are longer than, you know, possible, honestly. Because yeah. if you go to, like, a, your average travel game, you're going to see it maybe 30-minute, 20-minute, um, 15-minute long innings, and these up to 30 minutes, 40, 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Intense game. It's been an hour and 15 minutes, an hour 20 minutes. Our 21 minutes so far. Swing and a miss. Into this game. For strike one. Umpire did um, arrive a little late, so that is a big minus. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't see that. Number 44 up to bat. Pitch. And that's an absolute swing. dinger. Back. That's a foul. Sadly for BL. Right field did not, could definitely not understand that as we have number 15 in the field. Bryce Bolton in the field, he, he had no chance of getting that. You can honestly see right there. I don't think anyone had a chance of getting that foul. I don't, I don't understand why you'd go for it. Here's the pitch. One, two count, line, and that's a line. Oh, wow. Right to the shortstop. And he gets first. it. He, with an out. With an out. Amazing out by the first baseman, like, making the play. You know, you see guys, when they miss the play, they go full stretch out, warming. It's They do all sorts of stuff to get the out. Ashton Greenberg, the pitcher, advances home. Another run for BL, 8-6. One out. New batter. One. Little cuts. Our rivalry, our rivalry, 
rivalry against BL goes way back, honestly, but more for, that's more for varsity games, you know. We got our BL lacrosse game coming up next month. Tune in for that. Outside the ball, too. Honestly, Oliver, do you think this could be a 10, 15 run game for BL and St. Paul's? Do you think they could really get it into the 10s? I it's think they can. The I, thing, I know they will. You really never know. I mean, if the pitchers start stepping up, I think I think it'll be like 12, 8. Yeah. BL's starting to really slow down, honestly. Like, we are just catching up. Three whole runs. I mean, tied with BL. Walks. That's a walk for Karsten. Last year on gold was definitely great. Uh, same with playing with Holden Bradford also, who is um, 0 for 1 this this game. Jesse Ryder swings a deep fly ball to left, and that's uh, not caught by Bryce Bolton. Hey, that's a great way to get an out, though. Not catching it, like Jackson Holiday. You can honestly see from the big guys, they do the same thing, but they still get the job done. Number 12 up to bat for BL. Mason Egdon. Mason Egert, the second baseman up to bat right now. Second basemans definitely have a superpower with their batting more than their fielding. You can definitely tell. Mm. Stealing. Big stereotype. Hit and run. Oh, line drive. Get down. Center field running to third is your shortstop could not get that for St. Paul's. Number is Jesse Ryder gets him to third. I don't think I've seen one guy today who didn't have an Evil Shield sliding guard. Yeah, I mean it's a big essential, especially when you're playing on these fields. Looking to feeling. Is Mason Edgar Jesse Ryder getting a big lead off? Could have gotten, could have caught him looking for Carson Ryder. I don't think I've seen many pickoffs today. Almost stolen home, Running but is home. and he is Jesse Ryder. He's safely in. You don't see that too much, honestly, Not with the home the in the big leagues. You see that like almost never, but here you you can see that more than ever. Mason Eggert advances to third. Wells Lawson up to bat. And a line drive. Get down. The fires to first. He's, He's out. out. That's and that's the bottom. And as we advance to the bottom of this inning. Nine six as BL leads into this, into going into the bottom. Honestly, what, Oliver, with your um, just as we uh, enter this, you know, part of the inning, uh, what do you, what are your thoughts for that? St. Paul's, is, how do you think St. Paul's is gonna do? I think they've been doing pretty solid so far. Um, nine to six, you gotta get some hits on the board. You gotta really just like make contact and get your pitchers, let them settle in, mm -hmm. and I think. They'll be able to pull out with it. Oh, yeah. And if you really think of it this way, it's the seventh inning stretch for <laughs> for this because we're yeah. halfway through. Well, not halfway through. Maybe in the uh, – I can already start hearing take me out to the ball game in my mind. To bat Matt Wolper. Wolper. Matt Wolper. Wolper. He's honestly a great hitter. Can he can hit absolute tanks and honestly he's probably the most power hitter on this team. Being a s your center fielder for today, honestly, you can't really get enough of it. Mr. Walsh, 
coming out to coach. The assistant blue coach. I mean, honestly, great guy. Um, he got, he definitely does a lot of coaching. Pretty nice at teaching and as a coach. You really wonder what he's pretty primarily. He is. Oh yeah, when he, I've looked at his uh, stat sheets, um, uh, score sheets from previous games, and they're honestly like he has a unique of unique way of doing them. Like not how we take our stats. You can hear Varsity Walsh hoping to uh, get a couple of runs here. One to Wolper. He just strikes from Wolper here. Oh, and that is a tank! And he's mad Wolper. Getting three runs in the last inning, honestly, I think, do you think we can get ten, 10 in the double digits, or do you think we're just going to stay? I think we can, oh, pop up. Oh, pop up coming. Get down. BL throwing their last few warm-up pitches. Their pitcher currently now is number 10. That is London Hill. Man, London Hill, yeah. One of, the, in his first inning. An inside the park home run, and then he scored again in the fourth, and got a and got a double in the last inning. And he also played a pretty good game as pitcher last inning. You heard from Coach Walsh. And the next two hitters are subs. I believe it will probably be Charlie Nightwine, Holden Bradford, and possibly somebody else. That is a ball. That's the yep. second ball. 2-0. Matt Wolper up to bat now. Two balls, zero Four strikes, strikes, one out. All right. Um. Strike one for Matt. Now it's two. Runner on first. Strike. That was a good pitch by there. That was going to be a hard one to hit. Bl's pitcher, pitcher definitely bringing some heat, pitching, pitching a great game. Can but St. Paul's is also responding. Down. But St. Paul is responding back. Good hit. It's Not it Charlie goes to second. Charlie's And we Hello, are, guys. We are back on air. It is me, Kai Edwards, with Andrew Galetti. And, guys, we honestly, great inning from St. Paul's. Um, uh, sadly, we got the uh, final out for um, Charlie Nightwine. Great hitter, great runner, um, also great pitcher. We, um, you, could, you saw runs from many other guys, such as, um, as Enzo, we have AJ and Chase Goffstein. Yeah, honestly, great guys. Um, great hitters. They honestly blind superpowers. You don't see that out of them any day. Yeah. Like people always have hidden talents that you don't know about. So like, let's say Chase Goffstein, he didn't look like a good bat a baseball player, but he is. Right, like he's a really good baseball. And player. up we have Jesse Ritter. We have Jesse. We have Jesse Ritter up to bat. And pitching, we have Miles Pratt. And that's a ball one for Jesse Ritter. 
We have Miles Pratt still up for your pitching. And he has, he, I don't think he warmed up at all, so he's doing pretty good at pitching right now. Oh, yeah. You can really tell. Great pitch. And that's ball two. Uh, honestly, we're really seeing this. We don't like to see this, honestly. But line, oh, ground ball foul. That is a that's foul a foul ball. Two one is the count. Like I was saying to Kai earlier, um, like they always have to be ready. Cause you saw, like, when he hit that ball, like AJ wasn't expecting it. Like he was standing there, and then he waited for the ball to get near him. So they have to react really fast to the ball mm -hmm. in order to get out. Pitch coming up. Two one count. Oh, that is a tank. That is into a the infield. Hit. And he, he is, is out. He is caught out by 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 Miles. No, I'm sorry. Uh, by Chase Freshick. Chase Freshick. You honestly, we've seen many runs from him. Honestly, um, great hits. Absolute tanker. You know, but number twelve up, Mason Eggert. Like I said, so much. People on this St. Paul team are putting so much energy on the field. Like, so much energy and the momentum. It helps out the team so much to the point where we can get yeah. so much runs and outs and strikes and balls to help out the team. The best we've seen from him so far is a triple on in the fourth inning. Yes. He has um, also made a lot of bases caught loaded. him looking. And that's ball two. Wow. 2-0 two -oh count with one out. We love, we love to see it, honestly. We love to see outs. When we see outs, they know. Oh, that is a ground ball. Oh, that is a ground ball. But and he, he is, is at. Oh, oh, and that's an out of play the ball, double. The ball was too low. Out of play double now, for Mason Eggert. Bo is going to have a double for Mason Eggert. And that is a and that wow. is a double. You honestly do not see that in these leagues, honestly. But yes. uh, that's an error. Scores prediction. Wow. And BL just scored their run to make the lead to three runs, which is not good. We need to stop their runs so that they don't get they so they don't run anymore, and we can run. Honestly, up by three, it's not great. Yeah, three, three. Like y'all might think it's a really long lead. When in baseball, it's not a long lead; it's a short lead. Yeah, up by you one, you're happen. done. Up by one, and you're done. Yeah, you have ball, no idea what's gonna happen. That's a ball one. For Wells Lauston. Miles Pratt not having the greatest day today with oh, throwing almost, you know, couple ten balls of standing and Oh, that's a strike for wow, Miles Pratt. Wow, that was a great pitch. Great pitch. Slower pitch, but honestly you caught him looking there. I see a little bit of a uh, Joe Otani in him. Oh you know yeah. I, mean? I don't we all. And that uh, that is a mean pitch. Oh my gosh. Uh, that is a mean pitch. That was ugly. Uh, that was ugly. One two count. Not what you want to see from this guy. Yeah. Like I said, when people start heating up, the game changes oh, what a so pitch. much. What is that gonna rule? Oh, that was a ball. They uh, called it a ball. They said it was too high. Too high? That Honestly, that was to his shoulders. Pitch. What do you think? Cause yeah. the, I mean, honestly, we're seeing it from the two shoulders. The <clears throat> And that is three. Full that is three balls. Three, two. What are you going to do, Miles Pratt? Honestly. It is full count. So no matter what you do, there's something. We, something we cannot use a walk happen. here. Get him out. Make him swing. Yes. And that is into the forest. Oh, that is in. In the, the dirt. Forest. And it did not go into the forest. You will. You're not gonna get poison ivy. You get that one. Right there into the dirt, right behind, right behind the storage util the utility center with all the, um, with the uh, paintings, and everything. So and that does not affect their score either, which is not good for us. We need to affect their oh. score. And Miles Pratt just threw the third strike. Caught him looking for Miles Pratt. And that is strike two outs. Out. One two. more out, and we can bring this game home. Hopefully, we can bring this game home. Honestly, we have, we have two more, you know, chances. Honestly. Good thing we have the bottom on. Well, honestly, good thing we have the bottom because we can change this game in any way. Oh, ground ball! And that is a ground ball. He gets it, and he, he gets just it, and he throws the first, and it keeps hitting the, the ground. Out. What an out! And it hits oh, the oh, ground he's again. Safe. He's safe. Ah. Uh. And 
we're back. So we have number 13, Wells Lousen. 13-15, Ma Mason Eggert coming in. That is a strike. Oh, what, a what a strike by Miles Pratt. Like I said, he is bringing energy to the field and throwing great pitches. Last inning on the um, bottom, uh, top or bottom, I forget what it was, of the fourth. He was not thrown good. Mr. Walsh definitely did, was uh, anticipating, his, anticipating his decision, but he made a great decision. Honestly, it, buying superpowers, you can always see it. Oh, that's a strike for the out! And oh, that's just a strike. Just one a strike. more strike, and we can get him oh, out. Strike, and we can get him out. Sorry about that. I was Pratt setting up, looking like it's gonna. He's gonna throw a slider right here, and he does. Oh, that does not work. Oh, and he's looking, and he's in a personal. Lowden, Mason, Wilson, Wilson, Lawson steals to second. I'll yeah, say Mason Stellar stole, stole second base for Bo. Oh, caught him looking. That's ball three. Three, two, what are you going to do, Miles Pratt? Again, full as we count. said it, full count. As you can see, three, two. Lining up, it's looking like he's going to try to throw a fastball here. Four seam or two seam. And he does that. And that as the that walk. Is a strike. That is a clear strike, oh, honestly. that was like a strike. That was a strike? That had to be a strike. It's looking like these umpires looked at the solar eclipse recently. That is not a great pit. That is not great. Yeah. Oh, he dropped it, so that's why. Uh, I didn't know that. I thought. Me I thought neither. I thought as you just catchers. Honestly. Oh, that sucks. Oh, man. Oh, uh, Wilson that Loudon. That is a grounder number that we cannot afford. Is number thirty-one. Yes. Mason Stiller. And, and that's an out. That is an out. Oh, one. Oh, and it happens again. They keep throwing the ball too low. But from from there, from. And we're back, giving you coverage. Number 22, Justin Fran Franchest. Fran Justin Franchest, your left fielder. Oh, wow. Ground ball. Let's see, can we get off? Uh, and we got him out. out. That is a third I'm, out for this I'm inning. I'm still so surprised why he didn't try to get him with the tag. Now. Honestly, he was right there. He could have just ran. And now, now we're only up by one. We're only up by one run, which is not good. So right now, St. Paul's, we are all their energy they have needs to be put into this last inning. That is great that they did not beat us that inning. We did get the win over that inning. Basically, this isn't banana ball though, where one, where whoever wins the inning gets a point. But we're still up by one run. That's mm -hmm. good. That's a good thing for to continue in this top in this bottom. everybody welcome back to spsn this is mr byers stepping in uh to provide a helping hand it's been um a long game of course and our guys are getting a little bit tired but i'm here with guy welcome 
should be probably welcoming me. I'm sorry, you've been on the whole game, but I'm glad to join you guys here today. And um, yeah, this is a this is a tight one. So 15-14, lots of runs today. 15-14 um, SP as we go into the bottom bottom of six, or is it top of seven? I guess we're looking at bottom of six. Correct. So bottom of six for the Crusaders here. Um, as Beal Pitcher gets his warm-up throws. Um, Kai, what have we seen so far from the Crusaders today offensively? We have seen a lot of energy, a lot of power on the ball. In order for it to just a go, we hit a lot of ground balls to lead us uh, to bases, and we scored runs, and we have a lot of steals. So, yeah, 15, uh, 15 runs put up. That's pretty good. And we got our first batter actually coming up. And here we go um, as we go to the bottom of the sixth. And this is, yes, let's go ahead and take a look at our scorecard here um, as we get this going. My apologies. Oh, Kate Nolmer here at the plate for the Crusaders. And one and one currently. Ball comes in, it's outside. Wisely looks at it. Gonna make it two and one for Ulmer. Lead off hitter here for the Crusaders in the bottom of the sixth. Ulmer comes in, BL pitcher sets. Here it comes. Delivers high. So that's gonna be three and one. And Almer takes the base there. That's going to be a base on balls for the, for Almer. Good eye there from the eighth grader. So this is going to be a pretty crucial uh, inning here, Caden. See if they can widen the lead right before we get back in the bottom half. Kai? Um, Dalen has replaced, uh, I believe he has placed Caden Almer to run. He is, yeah, he's going to pinch run for Caden Almer as we go in and BL pitcher delivers. All right. Very good play by both teams here. Uh, St. Paul's definitely bringing energy and power to the field. BL just doing really good against us and our energy. Delivery, and it gets knocked to right field. That's going to be a fair ball. And that is and that's a fair. Send, that's going to send Jackson over to second. He's coming to third. He's going to stay up. And that is a single there. Nice shot there by Mr. Matt Wolper, the eighth grader. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Runners at the corners, first and third, Wolper and Jackson. We have none out here in the bottom of the sixth inning. And let's see what we got here. As at the plate is number four, Chase Frysick. BL pitcher delivers. Frysick looks. And they're going to give Wolper his base, but that's a pass ball. And Jackson is going to turn the corner and score. And Wolper goes to third on the errant throw to second. So, another run there for the Crusaders, 16-14. Still not out, Kai Edwards. Uh, Yep, it's really good play by, um, really good play and really good hit. Okay, and here we go. Chase for Isaac now at bat. Looking at 0-2, so he's got to protect here. Here comes a delivery from the BL pitcher, and he gets a lot of that one. Kind of underneath, though. Looks like it's going to go to center field. It's got a beat on it. We're going to get a tag from Matt Wolper, third. Throw comes home, but Wolper's in standing up. So another run for the Crusaders, making it 17-14, if I'm correct. And just one out there, Kai Edwards. All right, get a little uh, late rally here, which is good. Um, more distance we can put between us and uh, BL here, of course, who's going to come up at the top of the seventh, the better. So, Kai, what do we got here? We got uh, Luca Miller, the eighth grader, coming up. Luca Miller is up to bat. Um, uh, Chase is having a really good game, hitting a lot of um, hits, getting steals, and leading the team to – Runs and he gets and a lot of that one here, or actually, just a portion of it. Another fly to center field, and it's grabbed by the BL center fielder, who is Mr. London Hill. That's going to be two outs there, for the Crusaders, and we go now to Mr. Enzo De Felice. It's a big, big day for St. Paul's. 
and here he comes actually first pitch comes in that's going to be a ball BL pitcher sets BL pitcher delivers to DeFelice he's going to look at that too and that's going to be the second ball 2-0 and on DeFelice two outs 17-14 lead for the Crusaders Another outside pitch there, so making it 3-0. and Bad pitch back to the pitcher. Bad throw, I should say, back to the pitcher. Nobody on, though, to advance. So back to the pitcher. He's going to get back in the mound, back in the rubber, and get ready to set. DeFelice here likely to take, but we'll see what happens. Here's the pitch. He looks at that one, and that is a called strike, making it 3-1. and Smart move there by DeFelice, of course, probably called by coach and third base coach Pat Walsh here comes the pitch swings at a high one and fouls it back behind the dugout taking it to full count three and two all right Felice steps back in pitcher sets pitcher delivers that's low so Mr. D Felice will take first two outs 17 14 bottom of six next hitter coming up is number two, Miles Pratt. Miles has had a great day, too, with a number of RBI, RBIs, I should say. And he is going to step in the right-hander. And here he goes. Pitcher looks back, gives a glance at Felice at first, then delivers. And Miles got underneath that one, but that could be trouble in left field. They're tracking. He gets it. And that's the third out. So at the end of six, we're coming to the top of seven here. Here on SPSN, St. Paul Sports Network, currently the Crusaders 17 and the boys, Latin Lakers 14. We'll see if we can, if Crusaders can finish them off here on the top of the seventh. We'll be right back on SPSN. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us here on SPSN. Today, we have the St. Paul's blue team facing off against uh, the boys' Latin Lakers here on SP in this amazing baseball game. I'm Kai Godding Halloran here with Kai Edwards and Kai with St. Paul's leading 17 to 14, leading three runs with a great show in the last two innings, scoring six runs in the bottom of the fifth and two runs in the bottom of the sixth heading into the final inning what do you want to see from the St. Paul's defense um I want to see like a lot of energy and reaction time but overall their defense is doing good right now yeah absolutely I would I would 100% say that their defense their defense has stepped their game up a bit they're still letting BL get runs, but not nearly as many as before. It seemed like a close game, and then St. Paul's appeared with the um. St. Paul's appeared with the um six runs, like the hail mary. All right, there's a cur currently there's a runner on first, zero outs, and that's that is a ball. Ball. Uh, that's ball number one. Oh, that was yeah, ball. Count currently one one. Count currently two one. All right, one one. Count currently one one. 
in. Foul ball. Foul ball out over here. Great. That was a fast hit, but just couldn't get it over the line. Couldn't get it over the baseline. That would have been a good hit. Just couldn't get it over. Yeah, just a really, really good hit. Um, But either way, if you got it over, there would have been a foul ball. Um, like I said, great job by St. Paul by their defense. Their defense is going amazing right now. Ball two. And that Count. is a good pitch by Miles Pratt. Count currently 2-2. Two, two. Zero outs here at the top of the seventh. Still up. And the catch. Good catch. Wait, what a clean. catch by Holden Bradford. Absolutely. What a catch. Having, sending us into one out. Now here it's a pretty windy day. It's been windy. It's been cold. But thankfully the weather upheld to this great game. And the pitch. Swings and just doesn't get a piece That's of a it. Swing and a miss. Strike one. That's a swing and a miss. All right. Number two now. Oh yeah, Miles Pratt still pitching. And the pitch. Swings again. That is a good pitch by Miles Pratt. Miles Pratt has really been stepping up his game. Like I said in the last other innings, he hasn't had much of a warm up, but he is doing good right now. Yeah, he's the um, third pitcher to come on for SP. Fouls that out. Fouls that out behind us. Right behind our tent. For um first foul. Miles Pratt. Third pitcher to come out for St. Paul's first one was Luca Miller. Next was Carson Sinos. And then finally, Miles Pratt. Definitely showed up. Get ready. And the pitch. That's low. All low. Count currently 1-2 with one out on the board. Boys Latin up to bat. This is their final chance. Foul's out behind us. Another foul. Miles Pratt just need a nice fast pitch. St. Paul's defense locking in. Boys Latin offense locking in. This is the last. Count currently 2-2 two, two now. 2-2. Two, two. And, and the score is 14-17 St. Paul's. We only have a three. We only have a three gap. We only have three gap uh, run. But we're doing good right now. All right, full count. That was just a ball thrown right there. Swing and miss. For the second out. Strike, strike out. Strike out for Miles Pratt, definitely showing up. Final out, BL with one more chance. They can't let up. St. Paul's defense can't let up. St. Uh, BL runner steals up to second. Now, Miles Pratt focusing in, seeing if they can get another. He can, he can get another strikeout like he did before. St. Paul's still up three runs, but with BL, BL stole another base, stole up to third. Now, one hit would send a runner home. Count currently 1-1 one, one with two out. Miles Pratt here at the pitch. Oh, sends that up. That, that's game. And that that's a grab. is and that is game over. That is game over. St. Paul's pulling out the victory against their rival school. Boys Latin. 17 to 14.
three-run lead on Amazing Game. Kai, do you have anything to say about that? Uh, I was going to say that's like the greatest baseball game I have ever seen, besides the MLB, of course. But that's a, that was a really good game. That was a close game at some points. We had a lot of leads, and that was a really good game. Absolutely. I mean, if I had to nominate somebody for player of the game, it would be either Enzo or Chase, Chase. Chase Goldstein. He played a great game. He got some powerful hits out to left field, got many runners home. He played an amazing game. Everybody on St. Paul's really did. And that is just what you want to see here. It was from when that time Boys Latin scored five consecutive runs. It got um it got scary, but St. Paul's was able to show up. And now, thank you. And now 